Hi guys, it's Bas. It's uh, already late here. I'm at home in my hoodie after a long business day. Also some travels. Uh, coming back to Lithuania from the Netherlands after a few great days there. And uh, today I just shortly want to talk about how to have highly effective business meetings. Um, because I came to this topic, to be honest, because I had not so effective meeting this evening myself. And um, that's all good, like those things are happening uh, once in a while. And I was just thinking about like my past, like when I had a lot of uh, meetings that were necessary um, during my time in the, in the telecom and IT business. And a few things that I really uh, remembered that, that was different. Uh, and a few tips I want to give to you today is one of the things, the most important actually, is like don't have a meeting just to have a meeting. A lot of businesses are doing uh, doing this wrong. They are just saying like, okay, we need to do a daily meeting or a weekly meeting. Uh, and during this meeting, we are going to sit together and we are going to, to talk about subjects. And that's the second point, of course, uh, is that you you not only want to have a meeting because you need a meeting, but you also need to know upfront what you're going to talk about. Now, I think this was the most important uh, reason that today's meeting with me and uh, and a couple of my team members was not that smooth, um, simply because the meeting wasn't planned at all. So we planned to do a, a presentation for some, some new uh, people here in Vilnius, Lithuania. Uh, the time uh, schedule changed to uh, like more than an hour early. Uh, people were not able to make it, so we were together with the team. So I thought like, okay, let's just take this opportunity of, of calling together, or like a meeting together, and let's, let's discuss some points. But the points were not prepared. To have an agenda, to send the agenda to your t fellow team members or, or personnel, to ask them if they can think about the agenda, maybe they need to prepare some, some points to or some reports to hand over during the meeting. Uh, if people have something to add to the calendar, to the agenda, like the point is you will always close an, uh, an agenda with like uh, maybe a round so that everybody can ask like, do you still have something to add at this meeting? Um, but still, like if there are big points that needs to be spoken, uh, then you can add them to the agenda. So it's very good to prepare your meetings like this to make sure that you are meeting at a certain time, at a certain place with a certain amount of talking points that everybody already knows up front and they maybe can prepare, they maybe can add talking points before the meeting even starts. So this is very good. If you have an unscheduled meeting, of course, just try at that moment to maybe make some bullet points for yourself to say, okay, these are the points to talk about. In my case, I have my open to-do list. I have like a, a marketing idea list. I have videos that I still want to make list. Uh, so you have these kinds of lists where you can say, okay, this is what we, uh, what we can talk about at this moment to discuss. Of course, if you are meeting just to meet, uh, you will also see that the energy of the of the group is a lot less and a lot of people are unprepared and don't have a lot to say. So what you can say and what you can do is you can try to engage with your group to say like, okay guys, what are the things that are mostly not uh, spoken of in a meeting? So what kind of things can we can are on your heart? What kind of the things are on your sleeves? What can you add to this meeting? What we, what you maybe want to discuss? Um, in my case, I try to make it also a little bit more of a brainstorm meeting where you can say, okay, guys, this is a brainstorm meeting. We don't need a, a agenda. This is more about what can we do to improve the country? What can we do to improve our groups? And then, um, hopefully, if the energy is available in the room, you can get into a uh, useful half an hour hour where you can talk together about the certain points. Um, but of course, as well, this is an unprepared meeting. So it's very hard for people to say like, 
okay, maybe maybe some of them have some ideas. I saw there were some people that had great ideas or like say one idea because that was something that they were like breathing on. They were already thinking about this idea. They already want to put it some moment into the group. So this was a great moment for them to share. Um, people that had zero spontaneous ideas was mostly because those people will probably prepare normally for meetings and they maybe make their list and at this straight moment it was just too fast to say like oh yeah I have my list or oh yeah it is like a, a big thing to just come up with some new ideas uh, especially also when it was a little bit of the end of the day start of the evening etc so um, just some some most important of my tips would be like don't have a scheduled meeting all the time at the same time to just talk about the same topics uh, I also saw agendas that are very wrong saying like, okay, we are going to talk about marketing, we are going to talk about sales, we are going to talk about administration, and we are basically just the departments. They put the departments on the list, they add everybody to the same room every week, and they are going over every department where everybody is. And I, I made that mistake as well, but like I got like uh, luckily a great feedback from my teams at that moment saying like, why do we discuss administrative issues while our first and second line technical support are in the same room? Because administrative department cannot say all the details that they maybe make it easier to explain the issues because they feel that there are technical guys in the room that don't really match the, the talking points of those issues. So what I really like is to do very short meetings uh, that are planned with the separate departments and of course there need to be some like monthly meeting or maybe and also here there need to be I, I make the mistake myself it doesn't have to be once a month but when as a business owner you feel that you want to get your crew together that you want to have all the noses at the same side that you say I am ready to make an agenda that's interesting and that's engaging for the whole company in one time that's the moment that you call a general meeting for everyone. And the cool thing is it doesn't have to be scheduled once a month. It's just maybe two times in one month. Maybe if you have busy periods. Um, you, like once I did a huge meeting because we got like a big customer. And all departments should be involved in getting this big customer on board. There are people from different departments doing temporarily different jobs to get the job done and this is when you get the team spirit when you get everybody in the same room you tell about this great new customer and the very large amount of work that needs to be done that some departments need maybe some extra help that people can help each other and they can coach each other etc so we we got the job done um, even that some of the people from different departments started to do a job that they never did before so this is great, this is teamwork, but mostly I would say keep it like department-wise, uh, region-wise, etc. And just don't get everybody from all regions every month together to just talk. It's great to learn from each other. Luckily, we also have the modern ways using Skype and Zoom and, and other uh, conferencing uh, software where you can say, okay, let's meet and let's talk while we are all still sitting in our home office or, or regional office. So there are a lot of options nowadays, um, but I would say uh, schedule the meetings when they are necessary. When they are necessary, you definitely have also a list of talking points. Let people prepare for the talking points. And at the end, of course, ask everybody if, there's a, uh, if, they, if they still have to add something which is nice in the general environment. The smaller the group, the easier it is to discuss. The bigger the group, of course, you need to give everybody a certain amount of attention uh, and they need to be engaged in the topic. So if, they, if the administrative department is in a one hour meeting where the technical guys are discussing some specific technical stuff, it's just completely missing the point. You are paying those people for sitting in a meeting that they don't have to be in. So. Uh, split it up, make it department-wise uh, to make it as effective as possible. When a general meeting is necessary, 
uh, you, you will feel when a general meeting is necessary, get everybody together. And otherwise, just there are other really nice ways to get your team together and work together. It doesn't have to be a boring meeting. So that's what I definitely wanted to say. A very, very short other option about meetings. And this is a very cool method, which is called the Scrum method. And it's used a lot in software companies is where you are doing a meeting standing. So it's very, very uh, engaging. You are all standing together. You're not going to sit down, relax, take coffee. No, you're standing together and you are doing a very, very short beginning of the day meeting of 15 minutes. Everybody is saying what they did before, what they like, not, not directly what they did, I'm sorry. Like, what are they going to do today? if they had problems with their tasks before, so if they are stuck, and uh, th th that's basically it. So it's just like you, you shortly want to say like, okay, um, I'm going to do this and this today. Uh, I am on schedule and uh, yesterday I had like one or two little issues, but they are maybe already solved or I need some help. So everybody does this round. At that moment, you directly address if somebody needs help or if somebody is stuck, if another team member can help them and within 15 minutes even with bigger teams like 20 25 people even in the bigger scrum groups in the so short period of time people are are meeting only talking about the necessary points and that's it so this is really great uh, you can also google this online maybe i will make a separate video about scrum techniques to go deeper into this this way of meeting and getting things done as a project um, but just in general meetings i think we discussed enough for today i want to all thank you for watching and keep watching the the different videos um, i will as as promised there's more marketing stuff coming up and also more trading uh, trading videos uh, so this was really something from my business experience and something that came up today uh, which really let me thought, okay, I want to do this short recording with some tips that uh, people can involve in their daily business life. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening for everybody in Europe and uh, uh, have a good day for everybody on the USA time zone and uh, talk to you all very soon.